Welcome to today's broadcast in the Grant community. As we present Comrade Anya, who is out to tell the masses the situation and the state of disbursement in the Grant community. He went on to say that everything has been done, the document about the disbursement has been submitted, and everybody were waiting for the money to drop. But right now, as the money is not dropping, he went on to give an advice, a way forward towards the disbursement of UAAG grant. You pay attention to Comrade as he talked to the masses concerning the disbursement of UAG grants. Consider to subscribe to Good News Live Update as we are committed to update you on the situation till the money gets to our account. Thank you for joining us. Good morning to everyone under the sound of my voice. I greet you all, all CEOs, my wonderful stakeholders of all grant in Nigeria, more especially the UAAG grants. Yes, I'm now coming to you because I will always stand on my words and my words which I gave expires yesterday being Friday not as if it did not yield fruit but what I expected in full did not happen which is disbursement in full although to an extent everything about disbursement has been cleared the reason disbursement did not happen is what i don't know and that is why i'm out again this morning today is Saturday, the ninth day of March 2024. It will be very bad that somebody will wake up from the wrong side of his or her bed, pick up your phone, and what you do is to start looking for who to abuse or looking for who to talk to. If you know the problem we all have passed through, I will not say some people, because if you are in this grand community for some time, you are included to what I'm saying. And the worst thing you can ever do is to start attacking yourselves, leaving where the problems are coming from. How many grant handlers do you know? How many have you fought? How many have you approached with abuse and insult? But when your fellow subscriber talks, you go, you attack, you do all sorts of things, call names and all the rest of them. Is that the right thing to do? It is wrong. The same way is paining you is the same way it's paining that person too. The same way you are being frustrated is the same way that person is being frustrated too. When you vomit your anger, don't vomit it on them also because already they are in pain. We all are in pain. None of us here are grant handlers. We are subscribers like you who is talking. Although we don't know you too well, because let me tell every one of us the truth. The CEOs, either now or after, must visit all the grant handlers, one after the other. Whether they like it or they don't like it, we are coming to your tables. Yours is wait for us. Or rather, go straight and start preparing to do the needful. That's just the only savior you will have. 
because every machinery to come after you is down and ready for actions just wait or you start doing the needful immediately i'm out this morning to let you all know that the one week we gave actually yielded wonderful fruits but the reason the needful is not done is what i don't know and that is why i'm coming up again now please you who is talking that the delay of disbursement is coming from the ceos and ngos please if you don't know what to say sometimes let us keep quiet sometimes let us keep quiet we must not talk we must not talk for god's sake you don't just wake up you pick up your phone if the data is too much give it to your children who are in school they, they, they need data maybe to do the assignment and all the rest of them you don't waste it on saying what is not relevant on saying what is not even right like i said earlier the ceos and ngos are never put me anywhere and i'll prove it to you are never the cause of any delay they are not they are not when your child comes to you and asks you for food or tell you that he or she is hungry you don't push that child away and by paraventure you ask that child to come and take bring your plate and the child happens to go and bring basin or wash and basin you will not say no you not give that child that food put it to that child inside whatever the child brought even if it's one spoon, that child will not tell you no. That child will appreciate it. Do you know that one that is facing frustration can do anything to get what he wants? That is a state all CEOs are into right now. or NGOs are into right now. You don't come and begin to put blames on them why this prospect has not happened it's because of them and all the rest. You don't say so. Because you don't even know what these people, what we has passed through. You don't talk at the wrong side of your, 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 your bed because you feel you want to talk. Render blame to whom or those you need to render the blames to. Now, people are moving around using all the platforms they see. Once they, they add you in any platform, your own is to start posting, start writing, start talking, whatever I want to talk. Again, all the admins in charge of all our platforms please i beg you any message that is not coming from us inside these platforms please i've said it and i'm repeating it again delete that message and if the person proves stubborn remove that person immediately i beg you if anybody comes to this or any of our platforms to post or say anything that is not Part of what we are doing i beg you delete that message and if the person proves stubborn remove that person we are not here to start talking anyhow and start making noise anyhow it has gotten to the extent that uh, people's patients may not be, be be held back anymore people are, are, are losing their 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 their, their, their distance they are losing their they are losing it and when they lose it, I don't think you blame them. I think it is time we rise. I am here. I know the calls I receive on daily basis regarding to the suffering of our people. Hospital here, with notice there, children's school fees there, no food here. You know? people that die in here and not the rest of them these are human beings let me shock you in, in, in fact one of the ceos died inside his room for two days nobody knew till the brother went and discovered that this guy is dead inside his room nobody knew for two days and in fact the body started decaying Haba, how do you begin to blame these people? Somebody's looking for something, 
and they went as far as looking for something to use for it some borrowed money they lost on their heads some did this some did that to make sure they meet up and they did all these things and you're telling me that it's their fault how is it their fault for god's sake how is it their fault <laughs> please let us talk well we don't know what to say please keep quiet no, no 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 blame we go to any ceo or any ngo head don't don't do that don't say it you're saying it you are, you are provoking the anger in them and it will be bad please all the state heads get ready all the state heads get ready because we are out again to make sure that this disbursement takes place and today being saturday we are dropping our message for the last time the committees in charge get ready the committees in charge get ready move into action move into work for now between today and the tuesday nothing happens we strike hear me again between today and the tuesday nothing happens we strike disbursement is what we want nothing more nothing less whatever that has delayed it after clearance is what we are out to know and everybody should get ready everybody should get ready the committee rise up move into action and stop letting anyone distract you like Osim we say ignore any form of distraction for anybody or for whosoever we don't need all those distractions now we don't need them what we want is action whoever that god gives us must talk but talk on your own don't talk it don't talk and bring it to us say whatever i want to say send it to me we want to send it to please don't send it to us we are busier than these distractions now we don't need them if you need them then take it to yourself you are free to be angry nobody stops you but don't don't, don't lay your anger on the on the wrong persons i beg you don't lay it on the wrong persons even what these people are passing through now, you don't even know it. Because if this whole thing has been cleared since on Thursday and this disbursement has not taken place, then you should know that it's no longer their fault. Then we should be looking at it critically to know where the fault is coming from. And this is what we are at now to do. Because we are following up. I beg you all let us for once respect ourselves and respect our persons too everybody here a human blood runs in our veins go out there and see them every now and then they are up and doing they are here they are there they are everywhere anywhere they call them they are there at least for those of us who are reasonable enough has called me and said since it has gone to that level let us at least give them a little more time and which is reasonable which is reasonable that is why i'm coming out now to, to to air it out at least let's give them like from now till uh, on tuesday pipe low share their uh, 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 salt and let us uh, let, let, let us also join them in prayers these are the most we can do for now then let us wait and see the result of it between Monday and Tuesday. Even as I speak, a lot of things are going on. But at least things need to be facilitated. We need to facilitate things. Not demoralizing the mind of them who are busy, they are working. All we are making sure is to see that things work better, things work well. So please, the committee rise up. Move into action Monday and letters on Tuesday. 
then we strike by the grace of God. I beg you all. It's not time to abuse, it's not time to insult, it's not time to begin to render causes or whatever on anybody. No. There's no that time. Make sure that whatever you are doing is authentic. You don't just make noise from the back door. And secondly, I beg you all, all CEOs, be very careful and confirm things before you do. Don't just wake up and somebody calls you from here, send one message there, send the other one there, you are panicking, you are call the right persons to ask whether these things are true or not before you fall before, before victim for the second time. Somebody will tell you that uh, CAC this, registration that, uh, this and that. Nobody sends them for any of this message. Nobody sends them, send them any of this. And it's coming on the wrong side. CAC for what? Registration for what again? Please, be careful. As a CEO, you should by now know what it takes to be very careful. Don't allow anybody to fool you from anywhere. Don't. We are out for a right cause. And we must get it right by the special grace of God Almighty. We must get it right. Please don't render any abuse to any of our people who are out there struggling to see that this disbursement takes place. Don't abuse them. Don't cause them. Let us give them more grace. So that everything that is causing this whole thing now will be lifted and this disbursement will take place. It's an assurance because we know that they are passing a lot today. But God will help them to get it right this time. So please, relax your mind. Things are working well and everything is fine. Don't panic. And those of you who felt they are not cleared, relax. They are working on them all. So far you have done the corrections you are asked to do, calm down. Don't panic and don't start calling here and there. Relax, call the right person. You know who your leaders are. Call them and they will appease your mind. Not call people you call and the tension will rise more. You call people you call, they will increase your, 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 your tension and begin to frustrate your mind. Don't do that. Things are all on good course. And soon, you'll be hearing that result you want to hear. God bless you all. From here, this is 6.13 a.m. on a Saturday morning of night, March 2024. The voice you just heard is the voice of Comrade Pascal Anyang. Thank you for now. Till I come your way again. Do have a lovely day. And be expectant of this good thing coming your way. Please pray more and leave talk. Pray more and leave talk. And God will see us all through. Thank you all.